Jamie is in the Arizona's family parking lot with some horses. You never oh know what gosh. you're going to get here at AZ Family, I Jamie. Mean, but as, hold your horses, girl. Oh, this is the main event one. right here. <laughs> this weekend, the Draft Horse Show is taking over Buckeye. This is an event put on by the Western States Classic. So we are joined by Enos Yoder, the president of Western States Draft Horse Classic Shows and Hitch Competitor. We're going to learn what this means. Uh, and Mark Drummond, who's director of Farm Teams and Competitor in the Hitch and Farm Classes. Hello, you two. Hello. Hello. Okay, so tell me who you brought here and what is a draft horse? Draft horse is a horse that will weigh up to 2,000 pounds a ton. They're used to compete in the show hitches and also farming. Like the draft horses used to be the way of farming years ago. So we're trying to keep that up to date. When we think of the really large horses, we think of the Clydesdales. Should we? What kind of horses are these? These are Pertrons. These are same, same breed or uh, classification of a heavy horse. So we know that this event is happening what Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yep, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, one o'clock starts. You want to make sure that you can educate people about the draft horse. Maybe get some people interested. Spring break is this week for a lot of folks. So this is a great place to come bring the family, bring the kids. Will they be able to meet the horses, see the horses, and watch competition happen? Yes, for sure. The, our gates open at 11 a.m., so be sure and come by the stalls where the horses are stalled. Come on out, and we'll pull the horses out. You can pet them. You can get pictures. Just come see what a big 19-hand draft horse really looks like. 19-hand, what does that mean? Height. That's how tall they are. That's how we measure our horse. Okay, so Mark, I introduced you as director of farm teams and competitor in hitch and farm classes. What does that mean? So we have the hitches, which we have right here, and then we have farm teams, which are a team of horses, which would be just two horses, and they do a farm team uh, feed race, an obstacle course. They have uh, mostly timed events with uh, basically normal farm horses. How big is this arena where you're competing? You're, you're bringing out six horse and wagon in the competitions? Yes, it's a 150 by 250. And you'll see up to 60 head of horses in the ring at one time competing. There'll be 10 of these six horse hitches in there competing head to head, to head for uh, points for the Classic Series. So what kind of things will be, are, are you, um, I guess, being judged on? Are you trying to meet uh, the look of the horse, the gait of the horse? Yes, you want to see three teams alike moving together as a team. And then the motion of the front feet is very important headsets just coming in one unit and you will from the bleachers you'll be able to feel the, the power going by with the hoof beats. Enos we knew when you guys arrived because there was a giddy up it was like a thunder rolling uh, as uh, you approached and, and we could hear you guys from inside the studio. Mark how on earth do you get into this field this line of work and the competitions? Ah uh, just have to have a passion for horses and a passion for draft horses for sure to to get into it. And with the competitions, are, you said that these were used this way in farming. Are horses still utilized a lot in this way with farming or no? Yes, you go back to the Amish in the east, which is how I grew up. We used horses to farm every day and we take six horses out on a plow and yeah, there's still quite a bit of that done in the cult, Amish culture back east. How old are the horses? These would all be four, except we got a, like two five-year-olds in here. Are they like, is that four like a baby for a horse, or what is that role as far as how a lifetime? Two's more like a baby. Three and up, they'll they'll start competing. Okay. Oh, oh, Paul wants you to take started. me for. Can you take me for a ride? Go ahead and take me for a ride. I was all a little right, scared to ask this. Paul, but Paul always gets me into trouble. Come on, Jamie. Uh, tell us where to be and right. when. How do we get tickets? Uh, you can get tickets online at westernstatesclassic.com or you can buy your tickets at the gate. How much are they? <laughs> tickets are $20 for adults, uh, three-day pass is $45, and children are $10, and their three-day pass is $25. And tell us again where to go. Spot right now. Uh, south Buckeye Equestrian Center, so you can take the I-10 all the way west to Miller Road and then go south until you run right oh, into the Equestrian out. Center. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is the competition. Again, the competition starts daily at 1 o'clock, and at 11 o'clock, 
They kind of open their doors. Yeah. You can come in, meet the horses, take some photos. These horses are very well behaved. Do you know, they're, they're not even stopping or hitting the vehicle. Oh my gosh, they're ready for a sharp turn. I think I see my car right now. Um, do these horses like working together in this way? Absolutely. They, yeah, we're always lucky to get good groups of horses that'll work together and work as uh, three teams in one. Well, thank you so much, uh, both of you, for being here. Thank you to our six horses. That is the Ooh. news at three, everyone. The news at four is next. Giddy up. Have a good day.